but you're going to continue to see we don't have a cure, we don't have a cure. So do you think there ever will be a cure? There is a cure, there but is it's not cure. going to be from them. Right. There already is a cure. So we're not being told the truth about cancer because there is always already a cure for cancer. Exactly. Okay, I want you to elaborate <laughs> elaborate on that because I know you know, that was one of my questions. Do you think that there will ever be a cure for cancer? And you said there, there already is a cure. Exactly. Okay. Um, before we go there, what, what do you think causes cancer? Um, what causes cancer is deficiencies. Our food is just void of nutrients. Most processed food, McDonald's and Burger King's and the fast food, I guess I should say, they're void of nutrients. And so when you're eating food that's void of nutrients, any packaged food is void of nutrients. And when that when you consume that, and that's the most of the things that you consume, you're not getting nutrients. The body needs nutrients to function. It needs nutrients to heal. So most Americans, even though we may be, most of us are oh, uh, weight-wise, we, don't, we don't look like we're starving. But yet our bodies are starving because they're not getting the nutrients. Our bodies aren't getting the nutrients that it needs when you're eating processed foods. When you're eating foods that are in the raw state, in the natural state, that's where the nutrients come from. And so cancer is, again, nutrient deficiencies and toxins, where thousands and thousands of chemicals are created every single year. And our bodies just don't have the ability to process that and take it out. Uh, just from walking down the street, you're breathing in the exhaust. You go into your home, your couch, your carpet, the paint, everything is off-gassing. Uh, we are sitting in front of the computers, in front of the television. All of those things are having an impact on our bodies. And so if we're not eating correctly, our body's not, uh, it's not handling. It's trying its best, but it's not handling it. And cancer basically is just a mistake that has occurred. It, it can occur in our bodies at any time, but when we have the nutrients there, the immune system is built up, it sees it, it corrects it. But if it's deficient, it's not able to do that. You mentioned something in the immune system. We've said it many, many times that uh, um, the immune system is a, a major, major player. If you have a healthy uh, immune system, then your body has the ability to fight off, to repair, to reheal, to rejuvenate itself. Um, I like to give the example uh, that we started this one DNA cell. We have uh, over 75 trillion cells. Cells are, are make up every, uh, every organ, everything within the body. And, and my whole purpose for eating every day is to renew, renourish, and re regenerate the cells. And I think that's basically what you're saying. So if you give the body what it needs, then it goes down to the cellular level. Then what you're saying is that we already have a cure for cancer, and that is, the, that is basically your approach to cure cancer. Exactly. Okay, let's, let's uh, elaborate a little bit more on that. And mm -hmm. so like if, um, um, uh, if a patient comes to you with uh, breast cancer, what uh, what is your approach? Well, uh, first of all, we um, have a we sit down, we, we discuss. Uh, I get information from them, they get informa information from me, and they fill out a huge packet. And most people complain <laughs> because it's very intense. But I want to know you as a whole person. You're not just coming in because I have a lump on my breast. We're not just treating a lump on the breast. We're treating the whole patient. So um, basically, you will get a treatment plan. That treatment plan will include, number one, change of diet, uh, increasing water intake. Water is so important. 80% uh, of our body is water. And most of us are walking around dehydrated because we're not drinking enough water. So you're going to um, want to have at least about 10 glasses of water daily. Uh, I'm going to include fresh juices and not just fruit juices, and that's vegetable and fruit juices. And those are juices that you have juiced from a juicer, not that you've gone and bought from the store. Um, I'm going to also incorporate exercise in your body, in, in your um, in your daily uh, plan. Also, um, rest. Rest is so important. Sleep is so important. Most of the time, people stay up past 12 o'clock. Uh, there are certain hormones that are made around 11 o'clock. If you're not asleep, you're not making those hormones. So I'm going to even change your sleeping pattern and have you in the bed and asleep by 11 o'clock. Um, and also in total darkness. When the lights are on, when there's lights coming in, your body can't make certain hormones like melatonin. Melatonin is really important so that you can sleep. And in order to make serotonin, you also need melatonin. Serotonin is very helpful uh, for the body as itself is a neurotransmitter for the brain. So all uh, the body works as a whole. 
Um, so and I'm going to also incorporate um, hydrotherapy, home therapies, things that you can do at home. Uh, like you talked about, the hot cold showers, that is a part of it as well. And then you would do uh, hydrotherapy within uh, the clinic. Uh, it's a deeper uh, cleanse for you. And then we incorporate different herbs, different nutrients that actually cleanse the liver, cleanse the colon, and um, build up the system. Um, man, now the what you just said <clears throat> seems so simple. Um, and so your success. Mm -hmm. I mean, that what you just said, change diet, increase water with fresh juice, and then, and then we're going to juice with fresh juices, we're going to exercise, we're going to get rest. Uh, I don't want to talk about those certain hormones that, that we place at a, we placed at a certain time. Is that female and male? Yes. Both? Yes. Okay. Hydrotherapy, and, and then a major, major cleansing of the liver, uh, the kidney, the major organs. Exactly. Okay. That seems very, very simple and easily, e easily to to say it. Mm -hmm. um, how difficult is that? <laughs> Actually, it's not difficult, but it depends on the person. So if your mindset, if you have come in and you are ready to fight, you are ready to make a change, it's really not, the, it's, it's, it's lifestyle change. That's all it is. 